Science 5 with Teacher MJ, Quarter 2, Module 9 to 10. Protecting and conserving our intertidal zones and stories. Alternative Delivery Mode, Department of Education, Republic of the Philippines. What I Need to Know In this module, you are expected the need to protect and conserve stories and intertidal zones. Protecting and conserving our intertidal zones and stories. What is it? You learn in the previous lessons that intertidal zones and stories are homes to different kinds of living things. These make them a vital place of the earth. These places are meant to protect by us human beings. However, most of our intertidal zones and stories are already under threat. Some of them are being converted to buildings, malls, etc. while others are now extensively polluted by man's industrial activities. Thus, we should protect and conserve our environment now before it's too late. Protecting and conserving our intertidal zones and stories at home. As much as possible, avoid using synthetic fertilizers. Plants do not absorb them completely and it can wash off our streams and waterways. Use natural fertilizers instead. Trim grass clippings from your lawn can be used as a natural fertilizer. Cut grass moderately. A little height can make the roots move deeper and may lessen erosion. Grow plants in your garden. Choose plants that are native to your area so that it would need less water and fertilizer. Dispose toxic products properly. Improper disposal may pollute coastal rivers and stories. Remind your parents to pump your septic tanks at least every three years. Use non-toxic pesticide, examples of which is mixture of soap, water, and chili pepper. Excessive use of toxic pesticide can pollute. Look for natural alternatives to chemical-based household products, example of which are table salt and baking soda. Always clean up after your pet's waste. Never let their waste be washed up to waterways and end up polluting our stories. And now, at the beach. Leave our beaches clean. Always pick up your trash and dispose it properly. Do not disturb or keep animals that you found along the shoreline. Avoid using motorized boats in sensitive habitats. Use canoe or kayak if you want to snorkel near the coral reefs. When on a boat, avoid throwing your trash out to the sea. Stories are important because it filters dirt because the fresh waters enter the seas or oceans. It also filters the salt from the seas and ocean before it enters the mouth of the river. It plays a vital role during storms and it serves an exact point for flood. Can you imagine life without stories and intertidal zones? And now let's have a test. Direction. Put the smile if the statement is right and sad face if it's not. Change the underlying word to make the statement correct. Number 1. Synthetic fertilizer will bring no harm to the environment. Number 2. Proper disposal may pollute coastal rivers and stories.
Number 3. Choose plants that are native to your area so that it would need less water and fertilizer. Number 4. Dispose toxic products properly. Number 5. Homeowners should be reminded to pump their septic tank at least every 3 years. Number 6. Leave your trash in the beaches. Number 7. When on a boat, avoid throwing your trash out to the sea. Number 8. Roots of the plants can lessen soil erosion. Number 9. Humans can protect and conserve intertidal zones and stuaries. Number 10. Stories play a vital role during storms because it serves an exit point for floods. Number 11. 